How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to take a look at the unload event inside JavaScript. Um, so this one right here um, basically lets you know when a window has been unloaded. So um, basically it means when um, your window has been closed or your iframe has been closed. So um, let's see an example of this actually working with an iframe. Um, so um, on this HTML page right here, we're going to insert an iframe um, below here and just link it to our HTML page. So um, let's go back inside or let's go inside the text editor and it looks like this right now. So we have just an h1 tag. Below here, we're going to add a new iframe. We're going to put inside here um, a source of child.html and keep the frame border and we might as well give this an ID. Um, so we can say ID equals iframe, iframe child. Right, so we have this right here. We can now make this child.html file. So let's make a new file right here. I'm gonna call this one child.html. Okay, inside here we can put some essential basic HTML just like that. And we can just say um, h2, we can say I am the child. So I can save this and refresh my browser and we get this right here. So now we're going to add some JavaScript to the actual iframe, so child.html, um, that says when the window has been closed, then we're going to alert or display a message to the parent window. So um, we're gonna basically notify us when we've removed this iframe. So we're gonna also create a button which actually closes or removes this iframe, or at least the HTML file from this iframe. So let's go back inside the JavaScript real quick. And inside the child HTML file, we are going to add some script tags. And we're gonna add the event listener for the window object. So we're gonna say window, dot add event listener inside here we're going to pass in the unload event right there when that occurs we're going to execute this function right here we're going to say here parent dot console dot log we're going to say child is gone so we'll just put child dot html is gone Okay, so parent refers to um, the surrounding parent document, this one right here. So parent basically means index.html. So we're going to log to the console inside that, um, I guess, namespace. You could think of it like that. Um, so we have this right here. Um, so now back inside the index.html file, we are going to add a button below the iframe. We're going to say um, button. We can give it an ID of um, btn um, remove child. Okay. We can put remove child HTML as the button text. So I can save this and refresh. We have this right here. So if I click on this button, we want this to go away and a message logged to the console. So um, let's add an event listener for the button. So Let's first get a reference to the button, so we can make a new constant. We can uh, call this constant btn remove child, which will be equal to document .get element by id. We're going to pass in here btn remove child. All right. We can now say btn remove child dot add event listener. We're going to listen for the click event. Okay. We can pass a function inside here. So when the button gets clicked. We are going to get a reference to the iframe. So let's make a new constant, call this one iframe child equal to document get element by ID, pass in here iframe child. Okay, so we can now finally just say iframe child dot src. So the source of the iframe is equal to nothing. So we're we're basically removing the source attribute like that. So this will unload and it will trigger the unload event on the child.html file. So I can save this and refresh the browser. 
then click on this, boom, that goes away and we get child.html is gone. So that right there is the unload event in JavaScript. I'm not too sure why you want to use this. Um, I'm sure there is use cases out there, but for now, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.